Hello everyone, I'm Anne-Marie from Savon Anne-Marie and I'm happy to be here with you today to present my new soap. It's a rose and jasmine soap. Normally I speak French so I'm really sorry if I do make mistakes with my speaking or if I mispronounce some words but I will try my best. So today the soap I'm making is for Valentine's Day. It's a, a pink soap, but what I like about it, it's in my design, I didn't plan to, to, to add a heart shape in it. It's only pink with florals. So if you like the soap, you can actually buy it and not be for Valentine's Day. You, you can use it like all year long. And I also make a soap for men that's called the le moustachu or the, the stache in, uh, in English. And it's uh, my uh, number one soap for men. So you can find the recipe in, my in the description bar below. Uh, it's the oil percentage as well as the lye concentration I'm using. And uh, if you want to see more of my soap, I have a lot of video, but it is in French. Uh, if you are interested in that kind of video from me, uh, just leave me a comment, a comment so uh, I can translate other video of mine. So today the colorants I'm using is Magic Red from Windy Point Soap and um, Titanium Dioxide. The one I'm using is Water solu Soluble. Uh, you can use also uh, one that is soluble in the uh, oil. It really depends on the project you're making and which one you prefer. And uh, also the fragrance oil I'm using today is Fresh Cut Roses from Candora as well with uh, Jasmine from Candora. I do use two fragrance oil because uh, in the past I use only the Fresh Cut Roses and my soap seized instantly in my bowl. So I had to work really fast to put it in a mold and today uh, to um, counteract that I decided to um, to make those cubes like uh, the day before. I only used the Fresh Cut Roses fragrance oil and I did add to my soap batter at the last minute, blend with a spatula and then pour in, into a mold. Then 24 hours later I was able to cut it in pieces and the day after, like today when you see me making this soap, I can add it to my new batter that has the two fragrance oil. I do use another fragrance oil today. It's only to dilute the fragrance oil Fresh Cut Roses to avoid the seasoning I already had in the past. So uh, if you like my video, please leave a comment. Uh, I have a Facebook page where I post when I make new soap. I also have a Etsy shop if you like to buy some soap from me. So I'm um, in uh, Quebec City. And I also provide coupon codes for you to save on the shipping. So depending on, on the amount of soap you buy. I also do bath bombs, uh, shampoo bars, uh, bubble bars too, that you can find, and also bath salts. So this soap is, I'm really happy with the results because the inside I was planning to do like a terrazzo kind of look uh, with the, the pink cubes and the purple cubes with the white. Uh, you will see the result at the end of the video, of the video and I'm really happy with the look. And it's really a way to use fragrance oil that has seasoning. It's to do simple design like that or in steps. Uh, I think you could use this fragrance oil to do a layered soap, but just be aware that it can cause that. And it's really common from the floral fragrance oil to seize or to rise. So just make a small batch and test it to see uh, how it behaves. So right now what I'm doing is for my frosting because I always uh, frost my soap with a piping bag uh, like the pastry and um, so I just mix it really well then I let uh, my batter sit on the table like 
it, it really depends. It can be five minutes, it can be a one hour, it depends on the fragrance oil I'm using. So today uh, the design I want for the top, it's a simple one uh, with um, uh, a, star, uh, a star tip. So I'm doing three across, two across and then one at the top. I will add some uh, flowers I uh, do with melt and pour soap. I do use a lot of my silicone um, mold that I get from a lot of places, internet, uh, dollar store, place like that. So I use every, kind of every flower I have uh, for mold in my stash. So I did use a succulent mold that I have and I get this inspiration from royalty soap I did use a lot of mold today and with the pink color you really don't see that I use a succulent mold and it's really beautiful I add also a little leaves that is just perfect for the look and I do add biodegradable glitter as well because why not it's a pink soap floral scent it's for girls um, almost so who doesn't like to have a little sparkle at, on the top and uh, don't forget to spray it with uh, alcohol after that because you want to avoid uh, soda ash that it's a white uh, film on top of the soap it's not it, it's only aesthetic uh, you, you can use it, but if you want to avoid it, just spray it with alcohol like in the first 24 hours or if you add it, no matter what, just use steam to uh, get rid of it. Like a steamer for clothes, it can work. I see that uh, that other people use. Uh, but for me, I just, when I have some, I leave it there and it's not a big deal. So one thing I didn't tell you is uh, that I just recently had a baby, she is 5 months old, so I make soap when I have time, when she let me have time to make them. I do film uh, about every soap I make, but uh, I do not always have the time to produce a video or like right now to have time to translate it. So uh, be patient with me if you are really interested in that kind of, of video. I will try my best to add some uh, every now and then. And also uh, one of my future projects is to make a soap studio tour. Uh, I do love to watch them on uh, YouTube to get inspiration for my setup and everything because recently I just bought uh, new materials for me to be more efficient so I have new display to my side with all of my stick blender, my piping tips, my paper tower, towel, sorry but uh, I try to improve my environment to, to be more more efficient as I said because uh, in the first this room was rest for me and my boyfriend he make beer I make soap but right now I just like take all the place for me sorry for him but yeah <laughs> that's it and I, I want to to show you where I work and uh, where where I, I make those beautiful soap and also to help uh, other soap makers to have inspiration because what I use is not too expensive I want to reuse the most things I have and I think it's a good idea to share th those those things because it's a beautiful community the soap making world and I, I really love when people do share their their tips and tricks So tell me if you watch the video, uh, if you like it, if you have comments for me to improve myself. Uh, it's sure that if I do more videos in English, I will improve my speaking. I know I did mispronounce a lot of words right now. Uh, in my head, it sounds good, but when I try to, to speak them, it, it doesn't go as I wanted, but it's part of the job. <laughs> 
so I'm here adding some little beads to finish the, the look. Yeah, I had it uh, extra in my stash, so why not using it? And um, yeah, so right now I'm just spraying alcohol, like, like I said before, to avoid soda ash. If you want to make soap and it's the first time, uh, you can go to uh, soapqueen.com, I think, uh, soapqueen TV or royalty soap. They have uh, beautiful videos to teach you how to make soap and to do it the right way because you have to wear safety glasses, goggles, uh, it's the same thing, gloves, sorry. And uh, there's also uh, that the lie is really dangerous. So be. Be sure to to read a lot and to, to to watch a lot of people making soap just to be sure to do it right. So right now, right now we see the final product. Uh, it's one day later. I did unmold my soap about 24 hours, and uh, this is the look. I'm really happy with the results. It's really what I was looking for, and. Yeah, the, I hope you enjoy uh, watching the video and do subscribe to my cha to um, my channel. Sorry, I do have the French word and head, and it's what wanted coming out of my mouth. Uh, and so, yeah, leave a thumbs up, comment, uh, everything. I I'm happy to to improve myself. So, I'm hoping you enjoy and have a good day.